Hi there, today I'll be showing you how to make strontium nitrate from just two simple chemicals. Now for the personal protective equipment or PPE you need nitrile gloves, safety glasses, respirator, lab coat, regulation safety boots, more gloves, ear protection, another lab coat, more ear protection and safety tie and suit under the lab coats. These are the materials you are going to need. Strontium carbonate which can be obtained from a ceramic supply shop, nitric acid which can be obtained from a lab supply or in some cases made at home, and then you'll need a clean beaker and some sodium bicarbonate which can be just bought at a pool shop. This is to neutralize any accidents should they occur. To make the strontium nitrate, I'll just take, be taking some arbitrary amount, this is probably 20 to 30 grams, and you will simply add nitric acid to it until it stops bubbling. Now, you will know when it's done reacting, because you will see that it will stop bubbling. Now, one thing to note about using ceramic supply strontium carbonate is that it's made using uh, strontium sulfide so when you add acid to it, it forms hydrogen sulfide which is the rotten egg smell so it will smell quite bad so the reaction is not as violent now add a bit more acid Trying to release some of that carbonate. Okay, it stopped bubbling, so I'll add a little more acid. Okay, if it doesn't bubble more, then you take some more of the carbonate and you add it until you just add small quantities until it just about stops reacting and then you'll know you've gotten rid of the rest of the acid. Alright, so off screen I just went and uh, reacted the last of the acid away and now what you're left with is a very fine precipitate of strontium nitrate. The next step is to simply boil it to dryness. Now I haven't got a clue where my stir rod is so I'm just using a barbecue skewer to keep everything stirred around so it doesn't solidify into one big clump. You can see it's turning into a bit of a paste but it'll turn into a lumpy powder and then you dry it more on low heat and then you'll have a nice dry powder. Now. It will get quite clumpy and you won't be able to break it up with your stick so I suggest getting a spoon and breaking up the clumps on the side of the jar or the beaker and then you continue drying and it will get tougher and tougher as it goes so you'll just need to do it every couple seconds. And there you have it, some nice and pure strontium nitrate powder. A really simple way to show off the color of strontium nitrate, but not all too well, is to mix it 2 to 3 with sugar and strontium nitrate. So two, 3 parts strontium, uh, 2 parts sugar. Now if this is being used for pyrotechnics it can be used in a recipe called Independence Red. <laughs> 